Hey, you. Didn't Brenna tell you? I'm your new roommate, Brenna Patrick. Nice to meet you. You're in St. Clair. What were you doing? Do you need help with your luggage? <laughs> Man, what have you got in this thing? Just some clothes. There's no way clothes weigh this much. What's in it? Who's that in the picture? making the lasagna a couple days ago, so I didn't totally blow it. <laughs> the guys in the frat were eating great that night. Well, I'll have to think of some way to make it up to you. Spending a night with you is all I needed, Jess. But, you know, sometimes other couples do more than just sleep. Dad, we've talked about this. Look, I promise I've been thinking about it, but maybe I'm not ready. Come on, babe. You know there's other stuff we can do in there besides that. I know, and I want to just... Not until... Not until you know for sure that this is serious. That I'm serious. Yes! Well, I was waiting to tell you this, but... Now's as good a time as ever. Last week, we made a really big decision that's going to change both of our lives. Hello. Hello. Huh? Oh. Sorry, Lord. to see you. I was crazy without you. Crazy? That's not what I heard. You managed to make editor of the paper. You couldn't have been too crazy. But I did miss you while you were in France. I, at least you left the paper in capable hands. Not quite left it. I'm Dudley's TA this semester. I get paid to help out with the paper. Can you believe it? So you will be around? Oh, thank God. I thought that grad students would never be around and I, I'd never see you. A lot has happened since you've been gone. What do you mean? It's my dad, Quinn. He's missing. What happened to him? Well, he, he lost his job at the paper. And he came home and told us about it. He went out drinking. And he never came back. I have to find out what happened. I have to know he's okay, Quinn. Yeah, who's that? I don't know where to start. You're a great journalist. Tackle it like you would any story. I know. I know. I just don't know where to start. I don't know what to do.
that doesn't sound so good. Is that what you are doing tonight, Dad? Mm-hmm. Well, there's no Christians to come together. Like what? I'm not supposed to do anything on the great students, including me. Great. How could you do that to me? I, I need your support but, right now. Yeah, it's just for one semester. I think I will both be in the graduate program and it will be no problem. <laughs> Yes, I love you, and I want to be able to support our life together. Our life together? Well, I knew from the first time I saw you that I'd make you my wife someday. Oh my God. But I know that you won't feel right until I prove I can support us on my own. What are you getting at, Brad? I told my parents I'm ready to be on my own. Wait, what? You mean you, mean you asked them to cut you off? Yeah, pretty much. No one thinks I can do it alone, but... I want to prove them wrong. Wow, Brad, this is really big. Do you realize the consequences of this decision? Well, I thought we were on the same page. I mean, aren't you as serious about this as I am? I am serious. I just don't want you to make the same mistakes my ex did. Why do you always bring him up? I'm sorry, I didn't know about I just wish you wouldn't say anything about him at all. Okay, I won't. It might change how I feel about certain things. I just hope you make a good decision. You just have to trust me at this point. 